two major problems I'm facing with my Anthurium crystallinum plant. First, the leaves are browning, yellowing, as well as I noticed some water-soaked leaf edges. Second, I noticed some pale green discolored holes on the entire leaf. These are some of the common problems that you also may facing with your Anthurium plant. So in this video, I'm going to share how you can fix these problems step by step. And with this, hello plant lovers, I'm Nishat Suba from Bangladesh and welcome to Plantology. First, let me explain the reasons for the current situation of my Anthurium plant. Anthurium is a tropical plant and it requires around 60 to 80 percent humidity in the air to thrive. Now, this is not a drought tolerant plant, so humidity level less than 50 percent can result brown, crispy, curly leaf edges. Now, my plant has just passed through the winter season, which is the dormancy period for most of the tropical plants. And the brown leaf edges or yellowness of the leaf edges mainly happened due to the low humidity of winter. The second problem I noticed is the discoloration and it is the sign of red spider mite infestation. The dry weather also attracts spider mites and they create their colonies backside of the leaves and until you flip the leaf, it is quite difficult to notice their infestation. By the way, if you like this video so far, then it will be highly appreciated if you hit that like button and also support this channel by subscribing. Now let me show you how this plant can be recovered and promote new growth. First, I'm going to remove the dry and brown portions from the plant leaves. As I said, the plant is infested by spider mites. It would be much better to remove the entire leaf. But here I noticed the plant is forming some new shoots. And at this point, the plant will require more food and energy to establish these new shoots. So if I remove the entire leaves, it may slow down the growth of these new shoots because the remaining green portions are still viable for photosynthesis. So I only will cut down the damaged portions. Now let's take care of the red spider mite infestation. As an organic pesticide, I can use neem oil solution, but organic pesticides works slowly. It may take three to four weeks to completely remove the infestation, but now my plant is not in a good situation and it needs an instant recovery solution. So I'm going to use abamectin formulated synthetic pesticide. Add 5 ml of abamectin solution in 2 liters of water and spray on both sides of the leaves. I will spray the solution 3 times of a day for the next 4 to 5 days and the infestation will be fully recovered. Now, after all these treatments, the plant will require some special care. Number 1. The sunlight. I will keep this plant in a bright place, but separate from other plants to control the infestation. And as soon as the plant is recovered, I will put it back where it was before with other plants and also will make sure the plant is receiving bright indirect light. Number 2. The watering. I also need to maintain an even moisture level of the soil. Now, Anthurium is a water-loving plant, so I will water when the surface soil feels dry. Also, when a plant pushes new shoots, it requires constant moisture. Sometimes prefer more frequent watering. Number 3. Fertilization. As soon as the infestation is under control, I will provide nitrogen-rich fertilizer to the plant to improve its overall growth. I like to use vermicompost, but you can use cow manure or horse manure. It will be highly appreciated if you share your experience with rescuing a sick plant in the comment below. It will help our plant community. If you are interested in plants and gardening, then feel free to subscribe with the bell. Thank you so much for watching this video and we will see you in the next one. Take care.